We'll do love and friendship. Here's a clip. I'm sorry. Have I done anything that's dishonoured you or father? To honour means, among other things, to listen with respect to a parent's sincere counsel. I do listen with respect, Mama. It's just that... If you will not pay attention to me, then perhaps you will to a larger imperative. The law of the universe. An offer as splendid as Sir James's is not likely to come around again. He has offered you the one thing he has of value to give. His income. I fear and reproach myself, having shielded you for far too long. Had I let you starve a little bit more, you would resist much less. But, Mama, I was often hungry at school. Oh, evidently not hungry enough. In any case, the starvation of the schoolhouse is nothing like that of the destitute. Is that what you want? No. I can see Sir James is a kind man, and if it weren't a matter of marriage, I'm sure I could like him. But marriage is for one's whole life. Not in my experience. That's a clip from Whit Stillman's Love and Friendship, Ryan. Yeah, so Love and Friendship is a film by Whit Stillman, uh, who I was who I was called Whitney Stillman. Yeah, you call Whitney. I call you, call him, him, you call him Whitney. Whitney. Whitney, Whitney Stillman. Stillman. Yeah, my Whitney Stillman. Mm. But um, yeah, Whitney Stillman. Uh, <laughs> but um, basically, it's a film in the 18th century where Kate Beckinsale plays a seductive and manipulative lady called Susan, and basically she's a sort of she's not like a usual person of that age. Mm. She basically uh, she uses sort of devious tactics, and she's trying to win over the heart of the original De Corsi played by Xavier Samuel. So yeah, <laughs> so we'll throw over because you uh... yeah that's that's kind of the that's kind of the plot basically it's based off Jane Austen's novel isn't it Lady Susan where yeah. she's a recent widower and yeah she... it's an it's a novella isn't it yeah it's, it's, like, it's, it's, like, yeah. it's letters mm, basically yeah. yeah I mean I, I think it's just a yeah kind of like a combination letters, yeah. yeah and uh, yeah basically recent widower and I remember she comes to uh, who are a dead husband's in laws yeah. and basically like the dead husband's like his sister in law lives there to while the rumours die down about all the scandalous stuff she does in that kind of society back in the eighteenth century. And uh, what she basically tries to do is use a manipulation to the best of her ability is to try and find a perfect suitor for her daughter and herself because, you know, back in those days, uh, if you want to stay in high society, as she mentions when she's talking to her daughter in a scene, you have to kind of be friends with everybody yeah. and even though even though you're a horrible person, basically what you're doing, you have to be friendly and nice so they let you live there. And that's basically what happens throughout the full film. You know, it's just like the, it's got the good old Jane Austen walking through gardens and mm. uh, walking through hallways and this and that and gossip and all, all that type of stuff. But it's done in such a witty little way during the little conversations between her and she meets uh, our American friend Chloe Sabini and it is really good. Yeah, it? yeah. And it, yeah, it's basically just the banter between them. And that's that's basically what the full film's about. Uh, Visually, it tries to keep it as interesting as possible, especially in the hallway scenes and everything. And never, never got boring at all, no. even though it is basically just a lot of time. I thought I'd be bored. I thought, I thought the, the would... whole period thing mm. has never really appealed to me that much. But yeah. then, but I've I've never seen a Whit Stillman film, but apparently he is known for his his wit. Yeah, and so, and a lot of Austin as well. Yeah, a lot yeah. of his work is Austin. Yeah, I mean, isn't he bringing out another a book about like? After, I'm sure he's doing like his own little thing with this as well. I hadn't like, heard, but like novel wise, yeah, I think, I think he, he disliked. Jane Austen's version, so he's doing his own. And uh, well, if it's anything like the film, I'll, I'll definitely read it because I, I absolutely love this. The the witty little talk. I mean, uh, I can't remember the actor's name, but him and pl- uh, he plays basically just the kind of up class fool Sir James. Oh, the, um, the, the actor's called Tom Bennett. Tom Bennett, and yeah. He's he from Phone Shop. Yeah, he. Oh, oh he's he's, uh, he's Christopher and Phone Shop new man. Ah, yeah. I don't know. That, but yeah, he, he's absolutely fantastic as he's a hilarious. fool. Uh, there's just a multitude of great characters, basically. Stephen Fry yeah, Stephen Fry in well. a film, which is odd yeah, to which see. Yeah, very odd. Not in many. And, uh, yeah, basically, if you, if you love the kind of characters in just Jane Austen's other novels or the film adaptations, that the ones that scheme and everybody can't get any better than Lady Susan, really. Especially in this film, Kate Beckinsale's on top form. Yeah, she's, she's, she's really good. So before yeah. before this film, you wanted to start a Whit Stillman season, didn't you? Yeah. Bro? Are you going to start that now? I'll probably start it now. I mean, yeah. this, the, you know, I think it's his first film, like, Metropolitan, and then he made, like, was it Barcelona? It's part of a trilogy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, this is the second time, I think, Kate Beckinsale and Savini worked together because they worked at the end of the trilogy last year's uh, last as a disco oh, right. and the, he's done plenty of films in between that as well and like, I kind of wait to ride through more of his films because I absolutely I, I'm loving his uh, filmic style and the dialogue's just oh, super top notch mm-hmm. it really caught me off guard I was really surprised mm-hmm. by it and I really liked it and I would definitely recommend it uh, I think I probably might be watching it again if I get the chance as well Yeah. so it's, it's a very fantastic film and Ryan it kind of bored you well no just I mean I, 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 mean, I, was, I was quite ill that day so I didn't really no, get no that's just excuses no what that's that's, that's no, not an excuse. Well, I'm, I missed I missed a bit of I'm quite a bit of the film, yeah. so I'll have to rewatch it. But um, yeah, I just it, it looked interesting enough from the first twenty minutes or so. 
That's not what you said to us before this. That's just not what you said. <laughs> anyway, um, he did. Right. He did. He did Jesus. say it was boring. Um, crap, like. What? Well, be honest. So we don't. We don't lie on this show. We don't lie on this show. We've got integrity. Honestly, thought we did.